Denise Nicole Samaniago. Wonderful. Okay, who she got, Cheryl? Kathleen Espina Inyong. Does knowing how to speak any Filipino dialect make one more Filipino? Please explain. Knowing how to speak a language does not define if you're Filipino or not. No, there are so many beautiful languages in the world, especially in the Philippines. And what really shows you who are your true Filipino is your values and the culture that you celebrate every single day through your family, all the legacy that you bring. Thank you. Next we have number 35, Dakota Stort. How do you define beauty? I define beauty as something that comes from within. While I think out external beauty is just as important and appreciated, it's truly who you are inside that shines through the brightest. Thank you. Nice one. Number 26, Hannah Angelica Marte. Come on down. If you could revisit and change a part of your life so far, what would you change and why? If I could change one part of my life, it would be doing this pageant all over again. <laughs> I say that because I honestly didn't get to spend enough time with my sisters just because I had work and school and prior commitments and I really missed out on spending so much time with them. I learned as much as I could from the, the, the crew and... Do I keep going? Thank you. That's a hard timer. All right, next up we have number 22, Marianne Monda. What have you learned about your culture since joining the pageant that you didn't know, already know, or know too well? I was born in the Philippines. I stayed there for 22 years, and the culture is quite familiar to me. However, meeting different various girls in this competition opened my eyes to a lot of different opinions about culture and what togetherness is like. And I think that is why we are all here gathered in MFI is to celebrate each and everyone's opinion about what culture is and what is the strongest advocacy in their hearts that they would like to share to the rest of the world. Thank you so much. Number six, Ryland Faith Steinbuck. What you got, girl? Come on down. Describe yourself through your favorite Filipino tradition. I describe myself through my favorite Filipino tradition, and it would be karaoke, because... That's a tradition. Yes. I believe that every single time when we have a family function and we come together, eat and sing karaoke, the energy that I get from the room and the love and connection that I feel between everyone just really... Oh. I just want to know what song... Yeah, I want to hear you sing, What song girl. is it? What song are we singing? Listen by Beyonce. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love that karaoke. Number 36, Kelly McElroy. What do you think was the greatest invention and why? I think the greatest invention would be the wheel. Without the wheel, humans would not be able to transport things such as heavy duty items in terms of building things and humans would not be able to live. We would not be able to live in any houses, condos, build any buildings for corporate or even personal business without the wheel. In terms of driving, bus, train, transportation as well, that is why I think the wheel has been the greatest invention. Thank you. She like chat GPT that That's right. real quick. Nailed it. That was like, <laughs> she didn't even, yeah. 29, Beatrice McClellan, you got some tough shoes to follow. <laughs> Come on We got down. some brains up here. Picking them. Okay. Name one woman whose shoes you want to be in and why. 
My greatest idol would be Angelina Jolie. She is a philanthropist and also a cancer survivor. And with her story, she was able to make a positive change in the world. And I aspire to become like her. Aside from being famous, she has used her platform to share positivity and change not thousands of lives, but millions. And I wish to become like her. Thank you. All right, number two, Matea Mahal Smith. Who is the woman, living or dead, whom you admire the most? It would have to be my mom. My, <laughs> my mom traveled from the Philippines to the United States at the age of 15, all by herself, without being able to speak English. When she got here, she faced discrimination as well as becoming a young mom. Through all the challenges and obstacles that stood in her way, she always found a way to overcome them. <laughs> Number 20, Kavena Janessa Kanhi. What is your generation's biggest challenge and what are you personally doing to address it? I think our generation's biggest challenge is trying to live up to the standards that we're seeing on social media. The way that I set a good example for younger generations is by showing my true self on my Instagram page. I share my struggles and I share my accomplishments. And I show everyone how important it is to just be yourself because our world would not be as beautiful if everyone was the same. So be unique and love who you are. Thank you. Yeah, what she said. Number 24, Lawrence Gio. What is the least Filipino thing about you? And the second question, what is the most Filipino thing about you? Well, I would say that the least Filipino thing about me is that unfortunately I haven't been to the Philippines yet. And the most Filipino thing about me, I would say is my hardworking nature and my ambition and the way that they work so well together. Thank you. Thank you. Number 10, Patricia Bianca Tapia. Full or half, mestiza or morena, does it matter why or why not? Absolutely not. I think what you do to make other people feel love is what matters. What appears on the tip of the iceberg is superficial, but what you show beneath the iceberg and how you make other people feel is what matters the most. And as future Miss Filipina International, I will make sure to make other people feel inspired and loved. Thank you. She put that out there. Number 30, Jessica Zemanak. What would you do to help solve cyberbullying? I believe that living in this society where social media and the internet is so prevalent, we must make sure to remind especially our younger generation to advocate for themselves, but also to be authentic to who they are and to be confident. And this is part of my advocacy, which is to inspire our youth through creativity and self-expression because I believe that that builds confidence because I can speak for myself and also we are creating Creating the future leaders of our generation. Thank you. I believe her. Same. Yes. Number 12, Amanda Russo. Why did you join Miss Filipina International? The reason I joined Miss Filipina International is for my advocacy for our elders. As that as is my advocacy, I, vo I volunteer in the Philippines and advocate for Miss um, Filipina International and our youth as well. I believe that with age comes wisdom and that wisdom is being taken for granted with our elders. And I think we should be doing a better job taking care of them and encouraging our youth to care for their elders since they are the ones who brought us here today. Thank you. Right on time. Thank you. 
Number 23, Heather Casigna. Come on down. All right. Is your social media more a reflection of you and or your branding? Please explain why. I believe that my social media profiles are both a reflection of me and my brand. However, I'm always true to myself and I, what you see is what you get. I believe I'm real and I believe that I'm authentic in what I am. So I'm not afraid to post who I am and my opinions because at the end of the day, I stand in my truth. And at the end of the day, parking is for validation. Validation is for parking and not for people. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> like, we have number 31, Aisha Rose Mata. Are you ready for us? What is the biggest misconception about beauty pageants? I think that the biggest misconception about beauty pageants is that we're airheads. To be honest, when I have entered this pageant, I thought that I would meet more individuals that were less like me, that were less educated. And when I got to know my sisters, I realized these are women with master's degrees. These are women with voices. These are women who are empowering their community through every step of the way and asking the hard questions. And that is completely opposite from what we are seeing in pageantry and we should continue to see in pageantry. Thank you. What a great way to thank end you so this segment. Much. Yes. yes, thank you. Thank Give you. Give it up for these phenomenal answers because those questions. That was not come easy. Come on. Yeah. Great job, ladies. <laughs>